Lord, you're good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord, you're good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Lord, you're good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Lord, you're good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. I serve a God who is mighty. Hallelujah. Hey. I serve a God who is hey. able. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hey. You can call him a miracle. Miracle, Papa. I serve a God who is mighty. Hallelujah. Hey. I serve a God who is able. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hey. You can call him a miracle. Miracle, Papa. Hey. I serve a God who is faithful. Hallelujah. Hey. I serve a God who is beautiful. Yo, yo, yo. This God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hey. You can call him a miracle. Miracle, Papa. I serve hey. a God who is able. Hallelujah. Hey. I serve a God who is mighty. Yo, yo, yo. This God is a good God. Hallelujah, you can call him a miracle. Miracle, Papa. He yo yo yo. Yo yo yo. He yo yo yo. Yo yo yo. He yo yo yo. Yo yo yo. You can call him a miracle. Miracle, Papa. Let's go like this. We can do it, all of us. Hey, 
Praise our Lord Jesus. The Sunday that was before last Sunday, I spoke of a theme that was talking about get going. Let me speak it in this way that Genda Maso get going. We are going to read the scriptures. Okuva Okuva Muditronome, because the Deutronomy is a Chamateka, a Chamateka, a Tronomy, a Sule Soka, Chapter One. To Jacks Molinio Soka, we shall read from verse one up to verse eight. A Chamateka Sule Soka, Deutronomy, Chapter One, Molinio Soka. Verse 1 up to verse 8. Before I speak about that, before I speak about that, please allow me to echo the voice of Pastor Jesse as I welcome you all. You're welcome to the house of the Lord here at Healing Arena Worship Center. Feel at peace. This is your home. If you're a visitor, also feel at peace because you're in the presence of your father. So welcome you all. If you are married, please raise up your hand. If you are a married person, raise up your hand. Now the men, we started an altar here. It happens on Sunday. The second Sunday at the last Sunday in the month. The men, please raise up your hands. That altar starts from 6 a.m. on Sunday. On Sunday. And it ends at 8 a.m. We fellowship from here. We pray. After prayer. And we get a meeting still in prayer, but as we converse something twice in a month. So if you are a woman and your husband does not come, please wake him up 4 30 in the morning and tell him to go to the battlefield. Born again men, they do not overcome through their deep voices. They don't overcome they the gym. They don't overcome they by watching football. They don't overcome by drinking alcohol. We overcome by kneeling on our knees as we pray. Our homes are not built through the wisdom that we had when our elder, our descendants were speaking, sisters, that a man who is always a man, we are taught by the Holy Spirit and he reveals unto us the mysteries that are hidden in the kingdom of God, how we, how we can move on this blessing the, marriage, the blessing of a marriage. Please wake your husband's women. What you want to give to him, give it to him at 3 I hear some men wake up and If you want to give him a cup of porridge, Amen. give it to him and tell him to go to church. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. I think you've heard of all the programs. Let us read the scriptures.
Kindona tuseyo. Tuseyo. Kaya tusomere. Echama teko loku vidi okuwa kusule soka. Esule soka okuwa kulinyo soka paka kulomna. Na ditono mi chapter 1 verse 1. Bino vya bigambo musabi ya bulida israeli ye na. E mitala wa yolo dani modongu. Mualaba awole kila sufu. Babano, always been your miracle. Bango mutasma between the Nambako and Vienzi Catiz and Nang and I not In one. At times I enjoy when someone is reading as I emphasize something. The Mosuma, the Mosuma, Akanyako. Binovi Vigambo Musa, the Abulia Israeli Yena. Israeli Yena. The whole of Israel. Mulizenge Vigambo, you know, we would write Hilling Garena Yuna. Always listen to these words as they are spoken to the whole of Hilling Arena. Bivere, a Vigambo, you let them be your words. Emitala wa yolo dani mudongo Mualaba awole kila sufu Wakatiwe palani Ne toferi Ne labani Ne kazerosi Ne dizakabu Velugendo orena kwe kumi no unumu Okuva ekolebu Okuita awali orusozi seiri Okutuka ekade subanea Awolu watu uka Mumu wako guama kumi ana Mumuwezi ogwe kumi no gumu Kulunaku oromwezo gulu vede vede Musa na yogira na abana ba isi ya hili Ngabiyo na kwebiali Mukama vya mula gido kubabu ulida Oloku Buyamalo kuta siko ni Kabaka wabamori Ya tula anga mukesuboni Ne ogi kabaka webasani Ya tula anga astalosi Muedere Emitala wa yolo dani Monsia mwabu Musa jiatano ulida Okulangida Okulangida amateka gano Nga yogera anti Mukama katonda wa fe Ya yogera ya na fe kukolebu Nga yogera anti Mualute okutula kulusozi luno Mchuke Mutambule Mugende monsi eye nsozi Eyaba mori ne, Nemu bifobyo na Ebilira nyewo Mualaba monsi eye nsozi Nemu monsi eye olusenyi Nemu, nemu bukchika o wadyo Nekutale ne yenyanja Nsi ya bakana ni Nelebanoni Okutusa kumugomu nene Omuga fulati Olomu nana Laba Nsi njitade mumasoga mwe Muyingire Murie nsi mukama jiala ili laba jajaba mwe Ibrahimu na Isaka na Yakobo Okubawa bo Nezade liyawe Elili dawo Mukama fesi ya vazibanyo. Praise the Lord. Na wakama ati olugendo olomu loko li lugendo. I told you the journey of a born again is a journey. Oba olomu olomu loko li lugendo. The life of a born again is a journey. Mulugendo. In a journey. Te uta amble ya kuspidi ya mu. We do not move at the same speed. Wale uwa sanga anga oliwe mitawana. There is a point where you reach when there are problems. Nejiri kwa ta kiso kende za kuspidi kwa wade uta ambulida. And you are required to lower down the speed that you are moving on. Wale uwa tuka. There is a point that you reach. Nolwa oku. And you delay a bit. Nengo chano nyamanyi. But still you are looking for the strength. Agakendo kongera yo mas. That is going to help you move on. Kati olugendo. Now the journey All the life of a born again is a journey From the time you accepted our Lord Jesus You are on a journey I told you that journey Must end When you are in our Lord Jesus In the promised land there are things that we are promised as we are still on this earth that we must eat that we must drink that we must enjoy in the journey of righteousness but this journey has an ending point and the way it ends makes the difference it is so sad for one to start a journey and they seem to be steady in their journey when they are far out fast. But as they are close to the ending point, they lose their strength because this person is not counted among those who have completed. Now in this journey, you've ever seen people that are on a marathon or athletes these days they, they, are, they always shoot make a shot 
Whenever the bullet gets out of the gun, and they start on their marathon, they start as if they are on the same speed. Even in the journey of salvation, that they accepted our Lord Jesus to be the Lord of your, of your life. We got the same strength. We got the same authority. We got the same favor. We got the same victory. We got we are gotten from the book of death and we are put in the book of life. You got from being unknown and you became a person who is known. You became from a nobody and you came a sound. You came out of darkness and you saw the light. You came out of listening from uh, the and you started listening but to things that are useful. All of us. We were given the Bible. The Bible says that unto many who are to see him, they were given the authority to be the children regardless of whether you're a woman or a man or a boy or a girl or married or single or single that day you accepted our Lord Jesus you are put on a seal of life. When the gun is, is shot, the people start running. The that day, the, our Lord Jesus, when you received him and he entered your life, you became a child in the house of God. In a house of God, we are children. In the kingdom of God, we are princes. So don't allow the enemy to confuse you. But now we are speaking about the journey of the children of Israel. When they were leaving the, their land of captivity, I don't know how your life was before you got born again. The Bible tells me that every person they were found in a bad situation. We were tired. I don't know how it was for you. You might have been in the gym when you were carrying. But being in a gym does not mean that you're powerful. You might have been in the gym, but when you're very tired, well, one of the things that are taking you to the gym is being tired. Some people think that when you go to the gym, they know how to lift up their chests as they're moving. At times they bounce a bit. To see whether their shock absorbers are still known. But I want to tell you the truth, brethren. There are many that go to the gym. They come out when they are bouncing. But when inside of them, they are very tired. You may find a woman with a good makeup, with hair that is nice. But when inside of her there is a lot of dust, what makes the difference in someone's life? It is receiving our Lord Jesus. The children of Israel. They were in captivity. As people today. There are many people today are captives. They open their gate and, and close it, but when they are in captivity, they are in a big house, but in captivity. When the drive cars with people that follow in captivity, let me tell you, brethren, there are very many people that move along the streets of Kampala seeming to be free but inside of them there is no freedom. If you have the opportunity that you are having Jesus inside of you may you hold fast what you are given. May you hold fast what you are given. What you are given is so precious more than what you think. Now in the journey of the children of Israel as they are moving to the promised land I love going back where we started the journey of this year. When we were starting this year our Lord promised us that he is going to be with us along this journey. 
It took time. I told you, amid the, the journey, you start together with the same favor and success when the heavens have opened for you, receiving you, you have become children. Even in this year, all of us, heaven, promised us a blessing. Never forget, the heaven promised us a blessing. Promised us Uganda. favor. Promised us deliverance. Promised us restoration. Heaven promised us. And I want to tell you that our Lord does not lie. And I want to tell you we got the same promises. But I mean it's the journey. We finished January. We are in the month of February. And it's about to come to an end. Just as the authorities start. And they start. When they have heard the same word. That go on. And finish. That is how we also started. And along the journey. There will be challenges. But I want to tell you that the Lord who told us is so faithful. I want to tell you I want to tell you that in this journey get going. Get going. Get going. Get going because the Lord promised us that He will be with us. Verse 4. Who killed him? Musa. Moses. The Bible says. That in this journey, there are things that must die. In the teachings that we receive here, there are things that must die that your journey may go on. There are things that must die that you may receive your promises. But I want to tell you that for them to die, you must get going. Moses reminds the children of Israel how the journey has been. The Bible tells us verse 3 from the time they left Egypt from the time they left the land of captivity I don't know how many years you've spent from the land of captivity some the devil lies to you that you are not captive but I was a captive from the time you left Egypt how long has it been you know but the Bible says that it was 40 years from the time they left and Moses spoke to them and he told them these words the words that the Lord had commanded them not that in the 40 years Moses was not teaching in all the 40 years Moses was teaching them the years that you spent in salvation you have been taught even today you are still being taught what have you learned that is helping you in this journey for you to complete have you learned something in this journey? Have you learned something that the passage is taught and has taught you? When someone has taught and it has helped you in the 3 p.m. service and it has helped you, there is a testimony that God has given you that will help you. Moses reminded them 
Even Joshua as well. There is a point that he reached when he looked at them. And he saw them to be tired, yet Jesus was among us then. And he told them, I've seen you men. I've seen you very hungry. I'm, I've seen you suffering. I've seen you in I've seen you crying. I've seen you when God has been faithful. I have seen you. But you have not been faithful. But today I want you to make a choice. Whether you will serve the gods of captivity or you will serve this God that set you free. But he told them, but as for me and my house, you shall serve the living God. I want to ask you, I this question. Will you serve the living God? Will you allow the Holy Spirit to remind you the words of life? The Bible says in verse 4, that all this happened when he had killed now, your pastors have a job of, of having some kings that, they, that they will be killed in your life. But now as the pastors are killing some kings in your life, now you're also given the strength, you're given the authority for you to kill some kings in your life. The question I have today, you personally, do you see some kings in your life that are making you fail to see the king of kings and you can kill them as well? There are kings that you must hunt down and kill. Do you know that the people that contain the authorities that you see, that rest at an international level, every person has a personal coach. Do you know that? At times the, their coaches run with them. But in the finishing, the finishing race, Every person runs on their own. Every person runs their own. Yes. And the, 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 the cup, all the prize is not given to the coach. The prize is given to the athlete. Rather than the prize you're running, it's not going to be given to the coach. It's not going to be given to the coach. It's not going to be given to the coach. It's not going to be given to the coach. The prize is yours. Moses has had his own prize. But every child of Israel had their own prize. They were contending for. Moses had people that he killed. Just as a coach tells you that you're going to wake up at four and you drink a cup of water and you will run to the court. You will run for one hour. And then after that you will eat one banana. And then you will run after for two hours. And then do this. We have also told you. And we are still telling you. But at the end of it all. Who will be fighting for their prize? It is you. Moses had kings that he killed that he may make way for the children of Israel. But among us then, there were men and women that God were was raising that they had kings to kill. Yet all of them had received the authority and they had personally kings to kill. But if you're still there, even the king calls me as you're still Let us speak the truth. Your pastors do not sleep with you at Do we stay with you at home? Do we eat with you? Once in a while we eat with you. But when they call you in the party, or you're, you're in your house and you're eating it for you eat it alone. Now we can teach you that someone wakes up in the morning and they pray. But we are not going to be there to wake you up. 
That is impossible. You also personally, you must squeeze the king called sleep. You must kill the king called jealousy or envy. Inside of you, there are kings that made themselves so great in your life. You are the one to fight so hard and kill them. You are the one to overcome them. You have very many testimonies that are beyond what we know. The Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Do we know all your testimonies? You know your testimony along the journey what is going to strengthen you to go forward. But the Bible tells us go forward, go get, forward. get going. Verse 4. After Moses had killed them, those, those kings that had reigned in their lives. When someone gets out of captivity, I've, heard, I've ever heard that was a, a, a house. Those that were in the village you know, building a house for, for kings and soldiers. At times they used to tie their legs and they tie them on, on a banana plantation. And that's where it could fit from. Even someone who is captive, they, they fit from where they are. A, a hen that is tied on the leg when they are tying it on the banana it does not get balanced diet. It is captive, it is tied. Whatever it is given, it is what it eats. It is just there. When they give it maize, when they give it rice, it is it But when it is free, it can move on and say, I will eat two minutes, and I will eat some 12 insects, and I will eat some beans. because it is free, it is not tied. But they say that when you are untied it, when it has delayed there, at times they, it does not move from the move place. Now among us, there are people that were captive by the enemy. Now setting it free, we were all set free. But some are still tied up somewhere. They are still there. Seeing someone pray, those ones are the ones that can pray. Amen. But I want to tell you that we were all given a problem in our Lord Jesus. In our Lord Jesus, we were given authority to receive freedom because we're children. Verse 5. Emitala. Hmm. Emitala wa yolo dani, musi ya muwabu, mm. musa jiatanu lido kula angira ama teka gano. Mm. Nga yogera anti, mm. mukama katonda wa fe, ya yogere dana fe mkukorebu, mm. nga yogera anti, mwaluto kutula kuluso zilu no. Binobyo nabyo 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 tuogera. Whatever that we are speaking, kubera kubajukiza. We are reminding you. We must remind you the plans that God has upon our lives. We entered this year in a lot of power. One of the things that are going to sudden us is seeing that along the way God is giving us his blessing. Yet there is someone else who has not received the blessing. Or along the way. You have, one has more clouds. Because God promised us. And the Bible has told us that he told the whole of Israel. He told the whole of Israel. He told all the women. He told all the men. The word that we received was for the whole of us. And he reminded them. Verse 6. Nga yogera anti, hmm. mukama katonda wafe, ya yogera, ya yogera nafe kukolebu, nga yogera anti, mwalute, mwalute okutula kuruso zirono. Kati, goe njini njini goma nyo ruso zirono rudeko. 
you yourself, you know the mountain <inaudible> of which you felt enough. What I want to tell you is this. Whoever is not in the journey, what makes the journey a journey is the fact that you're moving forward. You cannot be given a prize that you've completed when I'm along the way. You say, ah, this mountain is good. Let me be here for some time. Let me tarry here. The time reaches along the way that even when you're supposed to drink water, you drink water and then you go on. Now I want to ask you what mountain has is good to you? What mountain have you delayed on today? The mountains that we delay on the mountains on which we delay a time they seem to be a blessing but when they are hindering us from reaching our promises at times we enjoy them born again you know we, we know how to create mountains and one is there and he says I want to pray but I will pray when Stephen has gone and you also create your mountain when that mountain is when Stephen does not go you do not go I will be on the altar but I will always wait for it when it comes to healing our day. you know I will also fast but I will always wait for January I will also give him the tithe and offering, but I will always wait when they have increased my salary. I will also give, but I will always give when I will say I have sold the mountain. Then I will know that God has spoken, you create your own mountain. I will do that but I will wait for the spirit to first come to me. let him speak to me in the dream the born again when they create their own mountains called dreams or they create their own mountain called a prophet and he, will, he says I will wait for the man to first tell me when he comes and receives my hand and shakes my hand twice I will know that God has spoken and you create such a mountain you create your own mountain and one is there he creates a mountain that I will always pray whenever they give me the Bible I will know that God has spoken for me to pray you create that mountain called the microphone what mountain have you created the word of God has spoken today that we have delayed on this mountain long enough we may have enjoyed it but it is high time that we go forward what have you learned on this mountain what victory have you received on this mountain what testimony have you received on this mountain what power have you received on this mountain that is going to help you to go forward we enjoyed January. God was so faithful in our lives. But the Waganda said that even one who has a, who has the greatest dance if January was good for us, it, it ended. But what did you receive from January? That you can use today as a shield that is going to help you. Stones of your testimony. That you're going to count when they're in your hand. And you say that this is where I'm going to What word did you hear in January? That is going to help you to overcome faith. What word are you going to hear in faith? That is going to help you to overcome faith. What word are you going to hear in faith? That is going to help you to overcome faith. That you should not move away from the, the, the main issue. The Lord promised us. He gave us His word that we are going to move on. There will be many challenges. But what word did you hear? What word of truth did you hear that is going to help you? to overcome the enemy when he attacks because the enemies will come challenges will come but what word did you hear James 
Deborah. And what did you hear, Deborah? That is going to help you and you say God was faithful there and he will faithful today and he will always be faithful because he is faithful. And Moses told them, We have delayed in this place. And our God has spoken that we have delayed. Verse 7. That it is high time. Mm. Nemo before you na ebidida nyewo mu alaba mu nsi eyensozi ne mu nsi eyolusenyi ne mu buchika obwaddyo ne kutalira nyanja tumanye tumanye kuimbo limba wano wange ne wali wange ne wali wange ne wano wange no bya wandiki bwa you know we always sing a song that this place is mine the other place is mine we want one way surrounding me is mine in the valley is yours in the high mountain is yours on the flat land it's yours move now because we have enjoyed the mountain maybe where the flat land that God has created for us that he has put to us that we may see his blessing because of the goodness that is here the blessing that is for that needs you and I to move on we are not seeing it. What did you pray for this year? What did you ask from the Lord this year? It is the high time, lady and gentlemen, that you put it into practice. If you prayed for a job, you never know it is your time for you to give in your application. If you ask for a change in your life, you never know it is the time that you may start believing God to change some things in your life. That you may change the things that are surrounding you. He changes you and you change the situation around you. What did you prefer? Let me tell you this. In most cases, the things that we prefer are the prayers that we make. At times, they are not easy. We find the things that we prefer are the same, but we just repeat it. But I want to ask you today, as the one of the Lord has said, that turn. Turn and do something. Turn and change some things. I normally tell you about my wife. Even though I pray. And I pray in the morning. I pray in the evening. That God may change my wife. When she, he has not changed me. It is, it is not possible. Amen. Amen. But if you ask for the Lord to change you, you can change your wife. You can change your husband. You can change your child. Because God has changed you. The word of God has told us that God has promised us many things. Very many things. Mutambule, <laughs> Do not get you from the land of captivity. That you get saved and you just remain there. He got you from there. That he may change you. That he may make you my son. That you may enjoy the salvation of the Lord. As we pray, we are given the authority. That we may change some things.
Now we pray for her. We are still in prayer. But you must change some things. There are things that she must face. Prayer. It brings strength. That you may change something. Prayer. Gives you the boldness. Enter a place where you couldn't enter when you've not prayed. Prayer has a power that you feel that you are strong. You feel that you are strong. A sick person, you feel your healing. Prayer gives you strength that opens your eyes that you could not open. Now we pray. We are still praying. But you also engage in the prayer that we may come out of prayer. In the journey, as the prayer says, always do something. The Bible says that I give a blessing the works of your hands. What do you do? What do you, are you praying for? I told you our Lord is not a magician. Yes, he works ways in the desert and he makes riches. In the, desert, in the desert. But you and I, we are the desert. You and I, we are the desert. He can make a way in you. He can make streams in you. After making you streams, that you may overflow in what is surrounding you. Now we pray. And God receives the honor. So now in this journey, brethren, I follow us. Just as Moses has reminded us that the whole land of Israel always get hold of some things. Pray for them as you're working them. I tell these children, pray as you study. I tell you the work. Pray as you work. I tell you the married person. Do not leave your marriage and go for prayer. Be in your marriage as you pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to finish as I said. The word of God reminds us that everything is ours. As I was coming today. There is a place, I don't know whether I've ever told you about it. There is a place where we pass by in Nigeria. The, the bus. We prayed for them. And we prayed. They are rising. But we believe that as the Lord is changing us, we also change the places where we reside. We change the villages where we reside. As you are part of the gospel, you are changing the village where you stay. That is why they tell you to, to give in the support of evangelism. When a person who has not been changed as well by Jesus can get their turn. And calculate it and look at it and say, When I do it, but person who has been changed knows that in this tenth house, this is a seed. God is going to use it to change people that He may change Uganda. You can never change Uganda. When you're still saying that, when they say that. When they say that they tell you give money and we preach the gospel in Masaka. Yes, pray. Jesus has not changed. You. Let me tell you the truth. Before you're changed, yes, I know you're taking a won't trust you so, so I pray for you as we are still receiving, receiving the heaven to give us a blessing so and heaven change us, us, that we may be part of change the last verse is verse 8 verse 8 on your Roman Laba, mm. uh -huh. 
Mulie ensi mukama jala ili laba jaja ba mwe. Ensi mukama yadewa. Chisugu etegiro masuga fe. Chisugu has been put before us. Maki indi eri masuga fe. Maki indi has been put before us. Kwa namuli Kampala na Kampala ni masuga mwe. Kampala is before you. Eri wa kiso wa kiso eri masuga fe. Wa kiso is before us. Uganda eri masuga fe. Uganda is before us. Tujikolechi. I hear people that tell others that the Bible says that give birth and, and, and lay out the plan with the world. A person who doesn't give birth wasn't he given the authority to, to the world? Wasn't he given the authority to multiply? You may multiply in two ways. You may give birth as I gave birth to the But there is also giving birth in the spiritual world. Whenever you get your money and you incur it in the gospel, you're eating the world, you're, you're, you're consuming it. You're multiplying. Whenever you meet someone and you preach them to the word of God, you're multiplying. I don't get the, the opportunity of preaching the gospel and I don't preach the gospel. The students of Kololo High School, they put on white down and they put on white shirts and white trousers. Those students remind me of my life when I was senior. I used to move like 10 kilometers from home up to and school. And 10 more kilometers from school to home. Now from Nigeria. Up to Kampala Secondary. Kampala SS. No, it's called Kololo SS. Kololo Secondary School. Kololo Secondary School. From Nigeria to Kololo, there are 10, 11 kilometers. But whenever I meet a student of Kololo Nigeria, from Nigeria, from Nigeria, I feel inside of me. I cannot pass by there. No one is going to spare me and their students. I get the opportunity of putting them in my car and take them to school. At times we meet them and I also have time. And I tell them, squeeze yourselves. But when I give them the lift, it is not for free. I want to add to them something that is better than the lift. Telling them Jesus. I'm also multiplying. If my multiplication is counted on the four children that I have that is very small I'm not despising but the calling that the Lord placed upon our lives and that after the God, God has given us to eat is so huge more than four children but surprisingly, the gospel of Jesus Christ is unstoppable. If you want to give in, give in. If you don't want to give the gospel will be preached and people will always get saved. For us to engage in it, we are helping ourselves. But the gospel is preached. Let me tell you another thing that surprises me. There's, there's something that I've noticed. Most of them. I tell them my name and I also ask them their names. Most of them tell me their names when they are Muslim. Do you know what is surprising? There is one called Ali. He told me that they are ten children. Same father. Mother. Same mother. Their mother is born again. And their father is born again. He's a Muslim. They are ten children. But all of them, the ten, they are born again. Listen to that. If you're there and you think that they will wait for you to go and preach them, the gospel is preached and people are getting saved. People are giving birth. And they are multiplying. That woman has been able to preach to ten children. Now imagine of the people that she has preached to on her Now what I'm telling you is 
the the world, the rivers, the mountains, valleys, the plateaus, they are all ours. They are ours. I want to finish with this verse. It says, Now look, I am giving you all this land. Bible all this land. Soma Soma Clinton. Hakini ni kumuna. Lava insinji tade mama soga mwe. Muyingire. Muri ensi mukama jari jari di daba jaja ba mwe. Ibrahimu ne Isa kane Yakobo. Okuba wa bo ne zade ya abwe edidi dawo. Wali wensi. There is a land. Mukama. That God. Jialava. So that, that in this year of 2022 He is going to give you the favor He is going to open doors for you He is going to give you a blessing He is going to set you free from whatever attacks you He is going to give you peace But will you accept? Will you go forward? That is the only question the Lord God that we serve situations can change but he never changes he never changes when he promises he works and he fulfills his promises that is what he promised this year but are you willing to go forward is there a job that you've thought of starting or work? I pray that today the Lord may set you free. That he may give you the power. You may have had a company that you want to register. And you are wondering how will I start. And I pray that along the time, God may reveal to you that he may take away that mist that was on your eyes that you may see a blessing that you may see a blessing that you may see a blessing that you may see his grace see his victory Lord the creator of heaven and earth we thank you because you are faithful and your word is faithful as well. You have spoken that a, a, a land that is a land that you have given unto us. You did not just set us free. You did not just open our eyes. You did not just set us from You did not just get us out of darkness that we may remain the way we are. You decided that you will give us life. Life in abundance. You want to give us a blessing that has no sorrow. Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, I pray unto this men and women that have gathered in healing arena today that you may remember the promise. Remind them. May your Holy Spirit remind them what you promised us, Lord. May you set us free. May you give us strength to go forward for what you promised us. Thank you, Jesus. May all the glory and honor be yours. Now and forevermore. In the name of our Lord Jesus.